Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Sticky Password Premium Edition. Now, this review is going to be a little limited because I'm not going to be able to show you guys a lot of stuff on this video because a lot of it is uh, confidential. But I will do my best to uh, walk you guys through this. Alright guys, so if you guys want to download a free trial the way I did, go to StickyPassword.com. Click up here where it says Free x premium and then you're going to download the free one right this one here gets sticky password free if you notice though it says includes 30 days of premium so you're getting the free one but you're going to have 30 days of this one over here the premium click on that install it it's going to have you create an account once you have the account it'll bring you to here all right so it's really easy to use there's a quick access tab here which um which uh, should give you the full list of everything, but it doesn't for some reason. I don't know why. What you really have to do is click here on web accounts and it'll automatically pick up everywhere you've ever logged in, as you can tell here. Now, the reason why I have this notepad uh, window here is so, so that it blocks all the confidential stuff I have here because it actually has my email addresses and uh, other information here. So from here, you can go ahead and select one of these and uh, launch from there um, but of course that's not what you want to do right you want it to be automatic so when you visit a web page it will fill out now that you have this installed it will and it's, it did it without the program anyway it will fill out the uh, username and password automatically and log in for you automatically this time now that you have the, the program it works really good the problem is I can't do it, guys, because, like I said, this review is going to be a little limited because uh, you because I can't show confidential information as I'm logging in. But I'm showing you guys how to do this. Now, if you have an account that's not listed on here, you can click on Add Account up here, and it will bring up this window here, and you, t you type in the link, the login, and the password. So whenever you visit that website, it will automatically log you in real quick. It works pretty cool. So you guys are going to have to try that out with yourselves, like I said, because I don't want to uh, show any confidential information on here. All right. You can also do app accounts, guys. So if you have a program that um, asks for a password, you could do it that way, too. You click on Add App Account. Um, you got to have it open, the window of your app. Click on this little target and then select the... Uh, select the window of the app you have open and and it'll bring it up that way and then you type in your login and password and it will automatically do that too which i never seen that before i don't think a lot of people use apps that ask for passwords i mean at work maybe but i don't know if they'll like you let you use sticky password at work anyway uh you click on identities here in identities you can go ahead and add one <clears throat> now, this is kind of weird because i was looking through this and it, here in, under identity, you can put your personal information, contact name, interest, business, finance, uh, title, first name, last name, gender, marital, birthday, mobile phone, email. I mean, that is a lot of information. I don't know if I would make an identity. It's just too much information, guys. I don't know if I would, to tell you guys the truth, because... As secure as it says it is with hackers nowadays, they'll probably get all, all that information. Look at all that information, bank account, and last but not least, uh, add credit card. This is if you want to automatically have uh, uh, your payments online go through, which, you know, a lot of people want to do that to make things easier for you, make your life easier. But to tell you the truth, I don't like that. I don't like that one, one bit. But you can do that if you want. You can add a credit card. You can add a bank account. And it will automatically fill it out whenever you're on the website, which, you know, it could, it could be easy. It could be making your life a lot easier. But at the same time, you're risking a lot. That is a lot of information it's asking for right there. Using these programs, I've never, I don't know, I've never really felt comfortable using them because it's too much information that it asks for. But, you know, we're reviewing it. So anyway, there's a bookmark section too. You can add bookmarks there. You can add a bookmark. And uh, you type in the link and that's how you do it and uh, I don't know I don't know if that's even important because the bookmarks are added on your browser anyway but okay sometimes we have memos a lot of you guys that work um, 
office jobs. Uh, you guys know how this is using memos. So you can make a secure memo here. There's even templates here. Software license, credit card, uh, ID card, um, stuff like that. Um, but you can add a secure memo that way. Once you type in what you want to say on there, you click add. And there's a new, uh, of course, I didn't name it anything. It just says new secure memo. And uh, I think to display it, it's going to ask for a password. It should ask for one. Nope, it looks like it's not showing it. It's not asking you for a password. What? It should ask you for a password. But it's not. But uh, display actually brings up this little box down here. And that just displays um, what, you, what we wrote down, right? We just wrote some gibberish just for the test. But that's how you can do it there. You can also add a group too. You can name it. And uh, it could be, you know, email, RSS, chat, business. And um, there's the group. You can edit it, rename it. And uh, you can ungroup also. Hmm. If you want to delete it, you just click on the ungroup. There's also a sharing center here. When you're sharing, you type in what it is. You type in the recipient's email. And uh, there's two types of rights, limited rights and full rights. Uh, limited rights, uh, users with limited rights are not able to edit the item, share, or revoke access. With full rights, um, I'm trying to see what that is here. Users will have full rights, the same access rights to be given as you. They are able to edit, share, revoke access to the item. Note this means that they are also able to revoke your access. So that is how you can select um, the rights with sharing which is pretty cool too i like that and that's about it guys um let's take a look at how much it costs so uh it's 29.99 for one year that's per year or you can get a lifetime license for 200 bucks 199.99 um it does have a 30 day 30 day money back guarantee and in case we miss some uh, features on here let's go ahead and look at all the features so it's got a limited encrypted password and data storage because it's on the cloud automatic form filling and auto login so when you log in somewhere it automatically does it super strong password generator oh which we didn't look at the password generator we need to do that guys my bad my bad uh, let's go back to quick access here and i know it's in here somewhere hold on a sec let me find it so the password generator is kind of hidden. You got to click on the sandwich icon over here or hamburger icon. And you, that's what people call it. It's these lines up here on the menu and then hover over tools. And there it is right there. Password generator. And here's your password generator. You can go ahead and generate whatever you want. Password length. Usually uh, I noticed passwords are eight characters. So you go to eight uh, advanced options. You can make it use all the all these things here click generate and you can click on this little eye piece here and boom there it is that is one crazy generated password so yeah there they are that's how you can generate a password and then place to clipboard button here just means copy so copy and then you can paste wherever you want to create that password now keep in mind if you make a very very crazy hard password make sure you save it on here uh, if you go under um, uh, web accounts here and then save it on there all right that's about it guys that's about all like we can look at here um, oh yeah it also has a portable passwords here so you can um, if you have if you plug in your flash drive you select your flash drive and then you can create a portable version of this uh, sticky password file that way if your computer were to crash at least you have it saved on a flash drive and that is about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon on the next video.